you got to look at the whole picture. Trying to so fast jump in the shit. Like, like you want to be on the next wave of shit. That's not business or businessmen. It's fucking followers, dog. You know I'm saying blaze some new trails. Find new ways to get currency. Or generate this bullshit money or whatever. Whatever you trying to do, you got to do it. I don't get, I'm not it. Whatever you got to do, you got to do it. You can't let them make something and then you do it and feel you're in control. See, if I said to you, you'll be a power. See, we think like that. We think I'm talking something crazy, but I'm telling you a constant routine. It's the, I'll tell you another scenario that's like that. You think you could go to their college and become a fucking genius that somehow takes over something. You think, oh, fuck that. I'm gonna become a lawyer and show these niggas how to be real lawyers. And all you become is just their lawyer. So many, I have ex-girl, she's still my peoples. When we was little, conscious. She's conscious now too. But when we was little, I'm gonna become a police officer. Cause I'm gonna get on that force and straighten them out. She said, when she got pretty much in the game, she was always that cockeyed optimist, black people, this, that, the other. Had spoke to her for years. She started telling me them stories. That's all out of her system. What she got into it for no longer exists in her. She said one time she was at a domestic dispute. They had to arrest the guy. The woman's there and, you know, all beat up. They arresting him. Get off a spider! Uh-uh, leave that. And spit on my girl. Ex-girl. She said she grabbed that bitch, put her hand around her neck, and spit in her mouth. I'm like, God damn. She said there was times they were driving people around the street. Please stop. She did exactly like they don't see. That bitch calling in. In other words, that regular police, I don't give a fuck, she became that. She went in for that, but became that. Meaning she went in thinking she had her own agenda into their system. I just came out, spit out at the other end, another victim or another clone of the system. The same way you think you're going to go to school and, and, and turn out the world. And then you're sitting at a desk next to a nigga with a GED. And you got a PhD and he got a GED and he's your co-worker. It's senseless bullshit that they keep enticing you with. Senseless bullshit that they keep enticing you with. How do you know? Because there's not na narrow one thing out of all these years that you heard that has saved the black race. There may be a few niggas who came off Maybe a group of niggas that came off. You may even go to a town. Wow, these niggas got it together. What are they doing? Crypto, nigga, crypto. And it may be so. But they are never, ever going to expose or release or let anything be released that can save fuck black people, any of these fucking poor people. It is... When you wipe everything around, the true argument is the haves and the have-nots. Nigga, you are a have-not. And though one or two or a few niggas may become the haves, never on the level of them, never equal to them, and there will never be a system we could get into that's going to save us that they create. That is stupid. If you think I'm a little bit wrong on that, nigger, tell me the system that you will or would or have created that will save the poor white race. What will you make where you think a whole bunch of poor white people will jump on it and go, fuck that. This Negro currency is how we get out the trailers. If you were running this and you seen that, 
you're going to stop it. Because if they have money, they may do exactly what they did the last time. Run your ass back to the projects and you'll be making rap songs again, nigga. So you're not going to do that. You're not, you're not going to leave something that may be empowering to something that may endanger you in their minds. We are dangerous because of who and what we are. Who and what we are, as I pointed out at the beginning, is very powerful. So much so that you find yourself pulling back in a group of white people that, you know, that are not your enemies, that you may be sitting around or happen to have to sit around for whatever dumb reason. You find yourself toning it down because your power is too strong. So to them, that's a constant threat, a constant threat. Believe you me, they are not putting out nothing that's going to help you or you can help yourself with. You have to find ways to help yourself. And because you cannot, because you cannot think beyond shea butter, retreats, lectures, incense, consultations, readings, and everyone who can do that and does it well is doing it and doing it well. So all these other black people who can't figure out nothing else to sell and can't sell any of this shit no more. There's just too many people selling fucking magnesium shampoo and shit with, with lavender and earthquake flakes. You're trying other things. You're trying to figure out deep ways. And because everyone wants to be a fucking businessman but have but doesn't do business, they talk about other people's business. Don't play with me. And stop playing with yourself. You talk about other people's shit. Other people who you already deemed inferior. Other people who you already deem liars. Other people who you already deem has money that you're currently using that's not real. And they make up another real money and it's all good. Hmm. Again, talking about a mentality, not a people. Again, I want to be clear. I didn't study the ins and outs, the ups and downs of it. There may be something in that that niggas can find a way niggas if niggas could find a way to to get a dollar out of 15 cents go for it nigga 